Yo guys, what's going on? I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make pretty much as much coins as you want uh, through SBC accounts. And uh, I'm just going to show you the process and how much profit you can make in the end. So what you want to do first is you want to make a new a PSN uh, or if you're on Xbox, a new Xbox or PlayStation user and then you're gonna create a new uh, I don't know what it is on Xbox Xbox but on PlayStation it's a PSN uh, account and then you're gonna sign in with that so you can play Ultimate Team and then uh, once you've done that you're gonna wanna go into Ultimate Team so alright guys so once you're into your account you're going to want to go to your club and you're gonna wanna go to club items and then you're going to have your kits and your badge that you chose at the start. Um, and what you want to do is you want to go over to the second page and you're going to want to make your bronze kits that already come with your uh, club as your active items. And same thing with the badge. And then once you've done that, now you have three tradable items. Go to the kits here. I'm going to list mine up for about 4.2k and this one will list up for like 3.9. You want to stagger a little bit so you don't really catch on too much and then the badge will go like 3.5. Now what you want to do is you can either if you have the companion app on your phone, you can uh, go through the companion app with your main account and go and buy uh, these, the what you just listed, or you can go on your app console and then switch accounts and then buy it like that. It'll obviously be a little quicker if you have it on your phone. Okay guys, so we're back. I just transferred the coins from my main account to this account and you can see that they're all been bought and now we have 11,000 coins to work with. So now what we want to do, we're going to go to the squad building challenges and we're going to have to complete the let's get started one first. Okay so we're going to be opening the two players pack you get as the group reward. Maybe you can get a little, a little lucky in this and get something. Odds are you're probably not as we get a board. That's super lucky. Brazil, center mid. Oh my god. We got an 85 Allen out of that. From the let's get started two player. So we got really lucky. He's untradeable, but it's Allen at the end of the day. Um, obviously, if I could sell him, he's like 10, 11K. Um, but we can't. But that, that's that's fine. That, that's a pretty pretty good start to this account. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the advanced section. There's four of them here. Um, what we're, we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start with the hybrid nations, hybrid leagues, and then the league and nation hybrid in that order. Um, it's just cheaper that way. Well, it's not cheaper. It's just a better way to spend your coins without having to transfer more over. So when you start this way, you're able to to keep the, the coin flow coming in and then you should have enough coins to complete everything. I don't really touch National Pride because of the inf like inflated price of certain players. Um, maybe if you have coins at the end you can do it or if we have coins I might show it in this video. Um, we'll just to see what we get in the packs. So what we're going to want to do is start with hybrid nations and we're going to go to around the world. So I'm going to build this squad and then um, I'll be back and I'll show you what the team looks like. Alright guys, so I'm back. I've just built the team. Um, this is what it looks like. I did have to transfer in uh, a little bit more coins uh, for a couple of reasons just because uh, some of these players are a little more expensive right now than I expected them to be. And then also, I this uh, Jason Murillo he has a transfer card and I accidentally bought that one instead so that took up like a thousand coins so yeah that kinda sucked but I'm just gonna go through the team here and I'll just show you this one 
they're not first owner. They've all been bought for some sort of coins. And then also um, there is uh, three position water fires put on to these players because um, you get 97 chemistry this way, but you do have to pay a little more for this one because I did it so that there's no loyalty glitch needed. Um, I had to put the position modifier on Calabria, who's originally a right back, on Rodriguez, who's originally a left back, and then either Vecino or Brozkovic, um, you convert from a center defensive mid to a center mid, and once you've done that, then you're able to submit it, get yourself a 50k pack for it. Um, yeah, that's why I still have 2,600 coins. Um, and then we're going to open this for your player's pack and see what we get out of it. You're pretty much guaranteed to make profit, even with discard value. We're going to see if we can hit anything. So, unfortunately, we're not even getting a board. So we get we get an island out of the rare players, and we can't get a board out of this pack. But what we sell, hopefully, we'll be back up near 10k. Yeah, so, so almost on 10k perfectly. So, as you can see... Uh, all these cards did sell in the end. They were probably a little bit lower than what they could have been, but at the end of the day, if you want to sit there and take the time to make sure you get every single uh, coin possible out of these players, you can. Two and a half, and then it should sell. Even the Sako did end up selling. So everything pretty much sells. So Guerrero is going to be there. So once Guerrero sells, we'll be around 12k. Do all these, all the rest of the set, uh, and then I'll just show you the packs. If you want to see the squads I submitted for these, um, you can go to my Instagram at e.foot.trading. So that, and you can just check out the squads I use, um, and you can copy them when you're doing your SBC account. Um, yeah, I'll show you the packs when they're opening. Okay, I just finished that next section on to the pack. Spent around 7k on it. If you'd like to see the team that I used, um, it's a pretty cheap one. You can go check it out at my Instagram. Um, I wouldn't recommend going straight to Footbin and using theirs because a lot of time the, price, the prices of those players are inflated because a lot of people are following those same ones, so I'd, I'd really go and check out mine. Or you can use your own, just up to you. So let's just open this 45k pack and see if we can get anything better uh, than the 50k pack. So here we go. Can we even get a board? I think that is a board. Yeah. Just a board. Italian goalkeeper. It's gonna be three fun. Not bad. Not great either at the same time. Uh, class and action there too. Uh, just a quick update before I do the next one. Um, I sold on most of the players that sold uh, in that pack that I just opened, um, as you can see, we made about 2k so far off of that one, and then all right, on to the next pack. Spent about 5k on that one. Pretty simple, not not such a great pack back in in return, but you never know. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be anything. That's not a board. Uh, you should make money back, especially if the because the non rares are kind of selling for a lot right now. Um, but yeah, once again, I'll sell this on and I'll show you how much we made from this pack. Alright guys, so everything from that pack has sold. Um, as you can see, there's still this one Mangani from the other pack doesn't sold. I don't think he's going to sell. Um, we got a little bit lucky in that pack with the kind of players that we pack, like Zubalita sold, Maso Pust sold, uh, Wilson and Dean Henderson sold for quite a bit. So we got lucky. That puts us on 20k, which is, I think, like an extra 4 or 5k from last time. I can't remember. But yeah, we're doing pretty good, so let's get into the next pack. Alright guys, we spent about 3k on that SBC, and now we have two packs to open. We get a pretty bad pack for completing that one for 3k, but um, you never know. Could get some good uh, silvers in this pack, if you're lucky. We'll see what we get. Um, so no good silvers, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to get rid of all of those. But anyway, 
Let's try and see if we can get anything out of this 55k pack, the rare mega pack. It's gonna be a board. No walkout, unfortunately. Brazil, center mid. It's gonna be Paulinho. Too bad it wasn't uh, Allen out of the tradable one. Um, some nice cards in here, though. Alright guys, I've just sold everything from those last two packs and we're up to 43,000 coins. So from when we started to where we are now, I started, I transferred over about, I would say probably around 15,000 coins. So we are already made about 30k and we haven't even packed a walkout. That, that's pretty significant, the fact that we haven't packed a walkout. And we still have made 30,000 coins. That means if you guys have super lucky pack luck, you're going to be making tons and tons of coins. Which the next one we're going to be doing is the, what's it called? The hybrid leagues. So for this one, you're going to get almost the same rewards back. Uh, and the group rewards, the same one again. So I'm going to uh, do these and I'll show you the packs. I'll do all of them at the same time this time and I'll show them all at the end. Okay guys, let's get into this next pack, the Prime Election Players Pack. Can we get a board or a walkout? Nope, we're not going to get a board. Um, if you're wondering, I accidentally opened the first pack without um, recording my voice, so just thought I'd throw that one out. We didn't get anything good anyway. Then we'll move on to the next pack, the Mega Pack, 35k pack. Can we get a board out of this one? Pack looks not been too great, but let's see if this can help. Nope, no board to this one. We are going to get a UCL card. Um, most of this stuff should hopefully sell on for a little above discard. Um, we'll discard everything else. Don't really need it. On to the rare players pack, the 50k pack. Didn't get a board out of this last time. Can we get a board this time? Yes, we can. Just a board though. German. Damn, it's gonna be a Sozo. He sells for a little bit. Because he's Premier League and he's good for SPCs. But overall, pretty dead pack. Try and get as much coins out of this as we can. And then now we have the 55k pack, the rare mega pack to open last. Is it time for a walkout EA? It's another board. I'm gonna walk out. It is a walkout. Brazil. Goalkeeper. Gonna be Ederson. It's not bad. Anything else? That's it. About 30k, 28, 27, 28k for Ederson. That's that's gonna be a lot of profit for us. Um, as well as the other things we have to sell in this pack. Okay, guys. So I went on and sold everything that could sell so as you can see the Ederson sold there for almost 29k I have all these cards that sold all right guys so uh, I'm back I ended up spending around 25,000 coins after you get the coins back from completing the set so we're gonna open the packs now to board. So we're going to go and pack Diego Costa in that pack into the premium gold players pack, the 25k pack. Um, I have got a couple of good things out of this, but not really. And no board again. Uh, just just one of those accounts really where we're not going to hit anything too big. I mean all these cards should hopefully sell for a little bit on to the mega pack. Uh, did we get a board? We didn't get the one out of this last time and we're not going to get one again. It's weird. Last year in FIFA 19 mega packs were so good for me. I got so many of my best players from mega packs and this year I haven't got anyone to note which is it's really, it's really strange but but not least the rare mega pack we got Ederson out of the last one we opened on this account. Can we get another walkout? And it's not a board. 
Um, yeah, it's just not, just luck's just not in on this account. All right, guys, so I've gone on and sold everything that we got from the packs that we just opened. We ended up starting this SPC account with around 15,000 coins, and uh, now we're on 90,000 coins. So we've made a net profit of 75,000 coins, which is uh, pretty good considering we only got one walkout, and that was Ederson. And we didn't get an 85 from the tradable packs, and we only got like a couple of 84s and 83s. So this just shows you that you're able to make a lot of profit, even if you're not lucky. Like, uh, interesting thing is if you, uh, once you're done transferring your coins, you can delete the club, and you can do it again, and you can do it up to four times on uh, one for PlayStation One uh, user. So what that will do, what well, that means is you can do this uh, four times per user, and you can, and you can have. I think it's like 16 users for PlayStation, so you can do this quite a few times. So you could, you could make millions of coins just doing SBC accounts. It is a little time consuming, but it's it's worth it. Now, if you're wondering on how you transfer the coins, I I'll have another video on that soon. You can check out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, besides that, that's pretty much it. Um, check out my Instagram. I'll put a link to that in the description too. Um, drop a like on this video if it helped you and subscribe to my channel for future videos um, and leave a comment if you guys did an SBC account what's the best player you've packed and uh, how many coins have you made from just doing SBC accounts yeah besides that um, I'm out see you later guys